right, right down the street, right, right straight down in the street, right, right here. The ways used to be good down there. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it used to be good in Oxnard. It's a good place to grow up and learn how to surf and make surfboards. So you could be a kook with nobody even knowing. Yeah. Right. But I don't think we're ever kooks, though. I, I don't remember. I don't remember being a kook. Are you out of here? Okay. All right, Ann. Yes, no, thanks. Yeah. Love you. I'll talk to you later. I'll let you okay. know. Okay. Let me know you got okay. Okay. This one's just, this is a, well, a replica of the first one. As close as we could kind of get to it, the, the center fin is the actual fin that was on the first board. The yeah, side kept, fins. Yeah, we kept the original center <laughs> fin. No For some weird reason, one. we kept the center fin and, and we lost the, uh, side, the original side fins. And that was shaping our our whole, you know, uh, direction in terms of of art and and just and just style. You know. Each board we can pretty much place to an album or a song even, you know, whether it's Patti Smith or Talking Heads, all that stuff is all part of the you know, surf and, and art and design. Well, culture. Me being in Hawaii, I had access to every, everybody. Nobody had to track me or Bonzers down. They were there, and everybody has to circle through the, the restaurant at a certain point. So there's always this convenient kind of thing where if somebody was curious about a Bonzer, you know, they could, they could grab one. Alex stopped by the cafe, saw Duncan, and Duncan showed him some of our old films. And Al had a good understanding and was very fair. Alex knew where he was, he came in and introduced himself, and you know, he was just ready to you know, try something. We'd make boards for a lot of the top guys. But we wouldn't logo the boards. we keep our logos off the boards. We, and we were not opportunists in the sense of immediately jump on the bandwagon and start telling people, oh yeah, you know, he, Kelly got a board or Rob got a board or what. We just, we just, it was up to them to say if they wrote the boards or not. I mean, there's all this kind of, you know, behind the scenes stuff that was very authentic. The vibes were always really, there wasn't any of this like, tension and that's how we wanted to be you know it's just a sh sharing of the whole thing anyways these days nobody judges it's not it's not like oh i can't ride that it's too it's too trippy the top top pros have a hard time get, getting their, their act together on writing something new whether it's the malloys or rob or joel or brad or Taylor, Taylor, those guys are brad, all these guys but everybody the thing is is they just wrote them recreationally but they stuck with it, really, you know, stood up for the Bonzer as a design. And um, we just wanted to contribute something to surfing. I mean, literally, that was our thing. And, and we realized we had a valuable design and we wanted to share it with the surfing community. The boards have worked well, and that's why it's still here. You can't share surfing then. I mean, what, what, what's left, yeah. There, there's Bonzer sandwiches, there's Bonzer dogs, there's Bonzer shoes. You know, there's Bonzer everything now. Yeah, yeah, but there's, there's only one Bonzer surfboard, that's for sure.